welcome back once again. It is your boy Pete Touchscreen and we're right back here on the channel with even more Summit the Hedgehog 2 and we are diving straight into it with Casino Night Zone. The easiest way to get rings in the universe. Uh, especially if you are even remotely good at uh, using the casino buttons. Um, I do like using su supersonic on this one uh just because the level feels quite long um it's quite weird to say because in, in actuality it's not long but because you can't face it in like uh a single just run forward and go just like uh aquatic ruin and uh emerald hill th that's the only reason it feels long Speed boost, which we wasted. Once again, I hear familiar familiar tones, and I immediately just want to start singing Dwayne and Brando lyrics. Sonic, time to go, you toast. I'd be every level with my Eggman rhyme. No rules, no rhyme, no place to hide. It's good. I, I, I do like the fact I do still know it. Um, Dwayne and Brando was like, nowadays you have everybody doing like, uh, what is it, like themes for, for Sonic's, uh, well, not themes for Sonic songs, but. Themes for just like Sonic music, themes for, themes for video game music as you go along, and like Dwayne and Brando was one of, when the internet came out was one of the first ones I stumbled across. Um, you know, <laughs> mostly because I was young, I liked Sonic, and they used all those crass lyrics. Hurdy hurdy her. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty fun, really. Ah, uh, one day I'll get up there. I'll tell you what, though. There is something to be said for going back into your... I don't want to say natural habitat, but... There, there's definitely something to be said for going into a game that you're really comfortable with. And it's, it's part of the reasons why we are taking, like, a short break after finishing half of incursion um because as much as fun as i've had with uh that game uh there is most definitely uh parts of it which needed a bit of work and are frustrating so uh it will be well i'm not wasting my time up there anymore uh so it will be interesting to really see how uh the like the, the boost parts of it go like, as I've said, like, multiple times, if the game at least show, like, has fun with, like, set pieces and, like, a, a modern slash boosting element, I, I'll be up for it. And the Act 3 for Incursion were definitely something. They're, some were dead better than others. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, some were definitely more fun to play through than others were, but... I think that's just part and parcel of what you actually have to play with these days, you know? Like, not every idea is gonna... is gonna rock your socks off. Bam. There we go. Oh my god, right, okay, time to... There we go. Just gonna cheese the boss. Uh, mostly because I hate this boss. Uh, and it gets me into hilltop zone, I wanna say. But it, it, it's nice to just literally blast through these. And I feel like, I feel like the score is quite tough and unpleasant. Uh, there will be one point that we go super on hilltop zone because you just need invincibility. 
literally. And I think I remember there was a definitely a part in uh, Act 2 of this where I get called out a lot. Because I always like taking the underneath route because it's the route I've just always taken. And people always go, like, over the top. I mean, sure. I mean, play what you want. Uh, and I'm sure there are faster routes, but what have I got to lose at this point? You know, I, I'm not racing. I can just play casually and just have a bit of fun rather than just get confused with a level I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, uh, I... It's really bad because I try not to get overtaken by nostalgia as well. But I look at the background. Well, not so much anymore. Uh, but I look at the background for this game and I'm, I'm just like, I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun just playing through. I, uh, I, I don't know. I think there's just something to be said for. Um, enjoying the game for what it is. I, I absolutely forgot about that spring, but I want the invincibility. You know, you've got to have supersonic light. This is the point I normally go super for, though, just because if you don't make that, then you kind of just want to have that in your pocket. Nice, simple act one. I mean, you don't even need super to blast through half of these levels most of the time anyway, but God, is it, if it isn't satisfying, because you really just don't have to care. I think this is the level with the overhead, right? Because, yeah, there's this. I've never been up here in my life. I think it's Viper that tells me that I need to, I need to do this like in the future. Because I always just play underneath, and I'm just like, eh. And I do like Viper. Good old Green Viper, giving him a shout out. Good old Radio Sega as well. Always uh, firm supporters of everything we do over here. And I do love my guys. Oh yeah. I think something I can do without the the old lava uh, aesthetic that's in the actual. Oh, sure. Why not? Is this another one of the? Yeah. Wow, really? Is this why people say do the top? I've never been this way in my life. And this feels so much statically easier than uh, the underneath part. I presume I just want to go this way, right? That's a lot of rings. Yeah, I presume if you had a lot of speed, that would be... Uh, pretty fun. Well, I mean, I was debating blowing super here, but I guess that decision's been made for me, right? <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, you know, again, I don't normally go that path, but Well, we've got a boss to deal with. A uh, slightly tricky boss, but... I mean, if you deal seven hits to it, take a, take a free hit. I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching. That'll do for this part of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. As always, I've been Pete Touch Good for Project Fiends Productions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time for more Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Take care, stay safe, play more games.